While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. You're a Christian, sir. You're a Christian? You're a Christian, right? Listen, sir. Let me ask you something. When we were brought here in slavery, look right here, brother. Did this happen to our forefathers and mothers? Yes, right? It's our history, brother. Did Christians, did Christians do this to black people? Yes, they did. The people that were Christians, they did this to our people and turned black people into Christians. That's right. They also turned the Hispanics into Christians and Puerto Ricans. Before, before we were enslaved, we knew nothing about a white man named Jesus Christ. That's right. Christ has always been a black man, right. according to God. Look at this picture right here. Come close, look at this right here. Tell me what's going on right here. Don't be scared, brother. Look, look right here. What's going on right there? Can you see that? Tell me what's going on. Big man, big man, come tell me what's going on. Can you see it, brother? What's going on in this picture? That particular picture. What's going on? Look, look right here. No, something else. What's going on in that picture? Right here. This one right here. What's going on? What's going on? Tell me what's going on in that picture with our Hispanic brother. Bring it out. This man was a king. Say it again. He's being made a Catholic. A Christian. Christianity was forced on the Puerto Rican people. They became Christian due to slavery. You know that, sir? The Catholics, the hey, why are most Puerto Ricans Catholic? Because the conquistadors murdered our people and turned them into Catholics. You know that, sir? Look at this. Look right here. Sir, sir, look. Look right here. This is how we became Catholics. This is how our Puerto Rican brothers and sisters became Catholics. The conquistadors murdered our fathers and mothers and turned the rest, the children, like you, me, you, you, into what? Catholics, right. where you worship a white man as Jesus Christ. That you understand that, sir? Oh, brother man, big man, big man, big man. Look right here. What's going on right here? We are being given religion right here. You, you understand that? What's your nationality? Are, is your mother Catholic? She's a Christian? Is your mother Catholic? Is, is she Christian? What about you, sir? The same? Why are, you, oh, why are the Puerto Rican people Christians? Here you go right here. Here's your history. Watch this right here. Deuteronomy 20 and 64. I'm going to show y'all something. The Bible talks about that. Guess what y'all going to find out? The Bible has your history in it, and it ain't about Christianity. That's right. Christianity was forced on your fathers and mothers. Right. Catholicism was forced on your fathers and mothers, right? Right. Just like my fathers and mothers, you know, what we get? We got Baptists. Right. We got Pentecostals. Right. Y'all got Catholicism down in South America in Puerto Rico. And watch this right here. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord... And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Now watch this, y'all. Hold that up. Look right here, y'all. Hold that up. Right here. I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all are the children of Israel. Y'all are the gods on this earth. Huh? Y'all are the gods on the earth. Y'all were made into Puerto Ricans via slavery. When they conquered our fathers and mothers, they made us Puerto Ricans, blacks, Mexicans, Hispanics, and so forth. You understand? Read it again. Watch this. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord is going to scatter us among all people. Watch this. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. Read. And there. And there. Thou shalt serve other gods. And what? Thou shalt serve other gods. Hold the white man up. No Hold the white way. man up. Read it again. Read what? And there thou shalt serve other gods. There you're going to become a Christian. Right. Now you're going to become a Catholic. Right. And worship a white man as Jesus Christ. That's not in the Bible. That's, right. That's nowhere in the Bible. Guadalupe. Nowhere in the Bible. None of that foolishness is in the Bible. Right. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Your fathers, Puerto Rican man, so-called Puerto Rican man, is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those are your fathers. Read that part again. 
which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Sir, 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 what's your, sir, sir, what's your nationality? You know about Puerto Rican history? Where you going? You know Puerto Rican history? You gotta go home. Sir, can y'all give me some Puerto Rican? Puerto Rico. You know about the history of Puerto Rico? Come talk to us, y'all. Come talk to us. Come talk to us. Huh? You going up for election? Can I give you one scripture? The Puerto don't want to talk about their own history. Wow. Wow. Brother, man, come on, bro. Let's talk about Puerto Rican history. You know about Puerto Rican history? You, sir? Come talk to us. Come talk to us. No? You know about Puerto Rican history? The name Puerto Rico, what does it mean? Taino. No. Now, are you Puerto Rican? Oh, you're Mexican. Okay. Come, come talk to us, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What is the Puerto Rican's name in the Bible? I don't know. Oh, see that? How much history do you really know, my brother? Bring it out. Huh? And you're a politician. You got to give them their true identity according to God. What were they before being called Puerto Ricans? Who are you? Who are you before conquistadors conquered the land and called it Puerto Rico? Who are you? Do you know? Is a Boricua? Is a Taino? What is it? Are you just a child of God? Who are you? Before you were conquered, who are you? Jeremiah 17 and 4. Bring it up. Bring. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it up. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. Hey, hey, sis, sis, I want you to hear this real quick. I want you to hear this real quick. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. The Bible says you're going to discontinue from your real heritage. You're going to be conquered. And you're going to be called what the conquerors name you. Right. Bring it out. Now you're out here celebrating a heritage that your slave masters gave you. Yes. I want, and now gas is like six, seven dollars a gallon out here. You driving around the block honking your horns with Puerto Rican flags around around your cars. Gas is crazy out here, and you out here wasting all your damn gas to honk your horn all up and say, hey, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm Puerto Rican, yeah, hey, I'm Puerto Rican. Jeez. You're celebrating a conquered heritage. Hey. Am I right or am I wrong, sir? Am I right or am I wrong? You're out here celebrating. Guess what? That flag, is that the original Puerto Rican flag? Bring it out! Uh-oh. Let me find out. I know more history than the Puerto Rican people Bring it about Puerto Rico. I asked y'all a question. Hey, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Walk. Hey, that flag you got in your hand, is that the original Puerto Rican flag? Puerto Rican people's flag? No. So why did y'all go by this flag and not the original flag that the Puerto Rican people wanted? Change your culture. Change your culture? Who changed y'all culture? Um, the other, like, different countries. Like who? They Spain. Nope. Huh? America, the land you're standing in, changed your heritage. That's so right. my brother right here, he knows that's not the original Puerto Rican. Hold on. That's not the original Puerto Rican flag. You got this flag after they conquered you. Guess what? In Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rican people fought not to have this flag. Well, and to keep know. their own flag, which was a green with a with an orange symbol. Somebody pull up, put it up on Google. The original flag is green. It was a red, white, and blue after America. You understand? But after they conquered you, they gave you their flag. You understand? You heard, you heard that, sir? I got a scripture. You want you to hear this? Read. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. That's like you just said. So what did we just read? Bible prophecy yes. has been fulfilled in our Puerto Rican brothers and sisters. Right. You lost your heritage just like the blacks lost their heritage. Right. Watch this. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Uh-oh, wait a minute. It says the Puerto Rico people are going to serve their enemies. Is Puerto Rico colonized, y'all? Is Puerto Rico colonized? She said no. She said no. Is Puerto Rico colonized? So America's not taking the resources out of Puerto Rico? Okay then. So you're colonized. They're taking your resources, sir. And guess what? They're giving none of that money back to the Puerto Rican people. Right. Most people in Puerto Rico are born in debt. Right. Why are they born in debt? America. That's why. 
Bring it up. That's why. Right. Come on. You, you, don't be scared. I'm your brother. Chief. Don't be scared. Don't go to it, sir. Sir, sir, sir. I got, there's a little more. Read it again from the top. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Wait a minute. Listen, don't go to it, bro. Hey, Domino Sugar. Who knows who's out of Domino Sugar? Do they? Do y'all know what Domino Sugar Company did to the Puerto Rican people? They turned the Puerto Rican people in the 1930s and the 40s into slaves. And that's how Domino Sugar came about. Hey, yes, it is true, sir. You don't know your history. Domino Sugar comes from slavery. They got their money and their wealth built off of the labor of the Puerto Rican people. They gave the Puerto Rican people nothing. So read it again. And now, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. See that? Now you're in a now you're in Chicago. You're in a land that your fathers didn't know. You got a job? Who you work for? Candy. Huh? You caddy? What that You drive around or something? What, what's a caddy? Carry golf bags. For who? You can oh, okay, so you carry golf bags for who? For OBCC club. What kind of club is that? A country club. A country club, a country golf club. That's white people, sir. Right. You understand? So you're serving your enemies for, for what? Food, clothing, shelter, things of that nature. Why you gotta do that? Because you lost your identity because you're in the midst of sin. That's right. Our people sinned against the Lord. Look right here, sir. Look. Look right here. This is the history of the, the Puerto Rican people. You can look. This is our history, y'all. This is our history. This is what happened to us. Look at this. Who did this to our people? I can't hear you. Americans? No. This is before America was, was, was started. Who did this to my brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico? Who did it? Who did it? Don't be scared now. You ain't scared when you find other Puerto Ricans. Right. You ain't quiet when you find another black man who did it. Right. The conquistadors. Right. So-called white men. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.